The James Webb Space Telescope has made a stunning discovery, revealing the first signs of life on the exoplanet K2-18b. This groundbreaking study reveals the conditions for life on this distant world, painting a dramatic and fascinating picture of extraterrestrial biology. Large amounts of water and gases associated with life have been detected thanks to precise analyses performed by the James Webb Telescope. For the first time, scientists are studying the extraterrestrial environment up close and uncovering details that leave them speechless. K2 18b was discovered years ago by the Hubble Space Telescope, but Hubble has its limitations. It cannot provide the detailed information needed to fully understand distant worlds. Today, Thanks to the advanced capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, a new era of exoplanet research has begun. Real data and concrete evidence are emerging, revealing the true nature of K2-18b. Scans from the James Webb Telescope spectrograph have revealed all the intricate details of K2-18b. Located 120 light years from Earth, the planet is in the star's habitable zone and is about 8.6 times the size of Earth. K2-18b has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, making it an attractive object for further study. The planet is classified as a Hycean world, a new class of exoplanets characterized by an abundance of water. These worlds may be more habitable than Earth, being mostly covered in water, with tropical temperatures and perhaps some large land masses. Scientists have long speculated about the existence of such worlds, and now there is evidence that life could indeed thrive there. The discovery of biomarkers in K2-18b's atmosphere is a breakthrough. For the first time, several biosignatures have been detected that almost certainly indicate life on the planet. One particularly interesting gas was methane. On Earth, methane typically only lasts in the atmosphere for two to three years before it is destroyed by solar radiation. The continued presence of methane on K2-18b suggests that there is an additional active source, raising the question of what or who is producing it. Methane is an important biosignature, produced primarily by living organisms on Earth, such as microorganisms and methanogenic bacteria, these bacteria thrive in oxygen-depleted environments such as swamps, peat bogs, rice fields, and the digestive tracts of ruminants. They break down organic matter in the absence of oxygen, producing methane as a byproduct. Termites also contain methanogens, which produce methane as they digest wood and plants. Other major sources of methane on Earth include wetlands, lake, river, and ocean sediments, and large deposits of methane hydrates in deep ocean sediments. Methane, while a life-giving gas, does not necessarily indicate life, as can be seen on Saturn's moon Titan, which contains methane but has no evidence of life. The potential discovery of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, on K2-18b adds another dimension to this intriguing discovery. On Earth, DMS is produced by certain types of algae in the ocean and is considered an important biomarker. Its presence, as well as water and methane, increases the possibility of life. DMS is primarily produced by marine phytoplankton and certain algae, which break down into DMS through a bacterial process. In coastal ecosystems such as salt marshes and mangroves, microorganisms release DMS when decomposing organic matter. Grasses, salt marshes, and some coastal plants also produce DMS, highlighting its biological origin. Analysis of K2-18b's atmosphere also shows abundant carbon dioxide and a complete absence of carbon monoxide. These chemical signatures are similar to those on Earth, suggesting processes related to biological activity. Photosynthesis, microbial respiration, and methanogenesis are the processes that produce these gases. K2-18b's thick hydrogen atmosphere suggests that the water is slightly warmer than on Earth, raising the possibility that conditions are suitable for life. Proving the existence of life on K2-18b would be a major change in our understanding of the universe. Scientists aim to conduct more detailed spectroscopic analyses of the planet's atmosphere and atmosphere using the James Webb Space Telescope and develop technological improvements to accurately detect living organisms. Initial analyses could identify more specific biosignatures and simulate which life forms might match K2-18's gas spectrum. 
This would require studying the corresponding emissions on Earth and creating suitable profiles for comparison. Advanced techniques such as transit photometry could also be used to study K218's chemical composition and biological dynamics. Future telescopes with better sensors could penetrate deeper into K2-18b's atmosphere and provide more data about its layers. The Very Large Telescope and the 30-meter telescope will soon provide even more detailed data. In addition, space probes could be developed to travel to K2-18b, collecting and analyzing samples of its atmosphere and perhaps its surface. Although such missions would take time at a distance of 120 light-years, accelerating probes to the speed of light or faster could make them feasible, simulating the environmental conditions of K2-18b in ground-based laboratories could also be informative. Reconstructing the temperature, pressure and atmospheric composition of K2-18b could reveal whether known terrestrial microorganisms can survive and grow under these conditions. Such experiments could offer interesting clues about what life forms might exist on K2 18b and how they would adapt. The search for life in our solar system will continue to play an important role in the coming decades. Drill equipped probes will explore icy moons like Enceladus and Europa, drilling through thick layers of ice and launching probes equipped with floating cameras into suspect oceans. The discovery of life on these moons would raise the possibility of life forms existing on many exoplanets. K2 18b is not the only exoplanet to become the center of attention. Many other exoplanets also hold promise for the search for extraterrestrial life. Trappist 1e, located in a system of seven Earth like planets, is in the habitable zone of its cool dwarf star, potentially allowing liquid water to exist on its surface. With its rocky nature and potential for a dense atmosphere, TRAPPIST-1E will soon be studied closely by the James Webb Space Telescope. The discovery of biological markers here would constitute a significant step forward for the scientific community, Kepler-186F, the first Earth-sized planet discovered in the habitable zone of another star, has also attracted interest. It is similar in size to Earth and may have liquid water on its surface. LHS 1140b, located in the habitable zone of a red dwarf, is another promising exoplanet. Its high density and thick atmosphere make it an excellent candidate for studying the habitability of planets in other star systems. Proxima Centauri b, the nearest Earth-like planet, orbits a small, relatively dim star. Despite its proximity to its star, Proxima Centauri b is still within the habitable zone. Although the star emits intense radiation that could harm the planet, researchers have not abandoned this world. A privately funded research project aims to send a small nanospacecraft to the system, located just over four light years away, within 20 years. The mission could provide the first real world images of an exoplanet surface. These advances in exoplanet research bring us closer to understanding our place in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope and future missions will continue to reveal the secrets of distant worlds, potentially revealing the existence of life beyond Earth. By exploring these new frontiers, we embark on a journey that can redefine our understanding of life and our place in the universe.